Hi guys, this is Jamin from Point Tech bringing you another key replacement video. Uh, this computer we're working on is an Asus uh, model number R556L. Uh, the full model number if you need it, R556LA-RS51. As usual, the reason why we're doing this, the reason why we chose this model, oops, sorry, the reason why we chose this model computer is because this is a French inset keyboard. What that means is if you're trying to replace your key, if you're missing a key like you are here, uh, if you're missing a key and you're replacing this, uh, it's not easy. <laughs> this keyboard is held on by a bunch of plastic rivets all the way around and then glue in the middle. And if you're trying to replace this and you rip this keyboard up and you go to put a new one on, all those rivets are gone now. You've broken them, they're all gone, you, you can't get them back. And you can re-glue it, but the keyboard's not as, it's not ever gonna be as stable. In my opinion, it's never as good. It'll still work. Uh, but that's why you're better off replacing keys as needed instead of breaking all those clips you can never come back from. So let's get started on this repair. Uh, you're gonna need a little skinny flathead screwdriver, smaller the better. Um, and let's show you first how to salvage a key. Um, um, in the event that you purchase a keyboard uh, with the intent of taking a key off and putting it on your computer. Let's show you how to salvage it safely. Uh, you're gonna take the screwdriver, you're gonna, which one do you wanna do? You're gonna put it underneath the key. And the idea here is that you're putting the screwdriver under the key cap but over the key clip retainer underneath. You're wedging it in between the two. So let's get it in there, and you can't see what you're doing, so go nice and slow and feel your way around. But gently take this key up. There you go, put that aside. That's your key cap. And this is what I was trying to do. I was trying to get my screwdriver over this black retainer clip so that when I pull this off, I'm holding that clip down instead of just ripping the whole thing off and breaking all the clips. So good job me, I did it right. Now you got four clips holding this uh, clip down, four metal brackets holding this clip down, as usual. One in that corner, one here, one there, and one there. That's what's holding this uh, retainer clip down. You also have this little bouncy ball thing, that's what pushes your key back up after you push it down. Don't damage that, it, it's not meant to be replaced, so you can do it, just a pain. Uh, so in order to safely salvage this, instead of just popping it up and breaking it, let's take our, our, our screwdriver, let's take a corner, and let's choose one of these top metal brackets and bend it down ever so slightly. Bend, oops, bend. All right, kind of difficult, be very careful about breaking your retainer clip. It's easy to do. So now we've been down just a little. Let's gently try to pry this thing off. Gently. There we go. One little pop. Um, let's try the other side. Gently pop it off. Gently. Gently. All right. So let's take this thing up now. See if we broke it. All right. So the things that are breakable on this are this little protrusion there. That one there and we see that they're still present, so they didn't break off. Also, the clip that we just snapped off is up here and up here. So if we broke those, uh, chunks of this, it'd, it'd be gone, and it wouldn't be able to clip in. So we did good. There's also two small ones here and here, so we're okay. So this is still usable. So that's how you would salvage this safely. Now, if you purchase this keyboard from us or anybody else, you would usually get it like this. Let me just put this back together for you. Dum, dum, dum. Click, click, click. This is how you would buy it from us or from anyone else. This is how you would get it shipped with the, uh, the clip retainer and the keycap in, in one part. It's safer to ship that way. But you can't take this and put it on and, 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 and press it in there and have it work. You'll break the clips or you'll bend and break your metal uh, brackets. Let me bend that back up a little bit. Okay. So. If you got this in the mail, this is how you would get this ready to install. You would do exactly what we did earlier. This time it's easier because you can see what's going on down here. Put your screwdriver again, wedge it in between the key clip retainer and the key cap. And then pry it off. Just like we did before. Alright. 
So that's what you got. Now what I find is easier is getting this bottom part in first. Um, it's just easier because these are bigger clips. So let's slide this in there. Oops. Dum, 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 dum. Very difficult to see what I'm doing. All right, so if you can see, I've slid it, slid these two notches underneath these bottom brackets, and now I can just push the top ones back in. Pop, pop. All right, so now I've slid those in first, and I pop that one in, I pop that one in. Again, do nice and gentle, because every step of the way it's easy to break this thing. But now that you have that in, then you can take your key clip, sorry, your key cap, and push it right on. And it works, and you're all set. And that's your installation. Uh, if this helped, feel free to like it. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you like do-it-yourself laptop repair. Um, if you want to keep watching because you want to know how to do these big ones, I'll do that now. It's the same thing, they just look different. So I'll give you a little preview of what it's going to look like. Just so you're not freaked out when you open it up. Same thing, put it in there, wedge your screwdriver in there, peel it off. Um, as you can see, it looks the same. There's your poppy thing. And now you got two retainer clips. Instead of one big one, you got two re retainer clips. Only difference is you got two brackets on top holding it down, and then one in the middle. Same thing though, to salvage, bend down one of these top ones a little, gently pry it off, and then to reinstall, put that bottom one in first, just like you saw us do earlier, put that bottom one in first, pop those down. Another difference in these big ones is you have a metal bar running through it. I don't really know what that thing's for, I've never really found a use for it, who knows. Uh, but you're gonna slide those middle bars into their holders, like that. Slide this key down, pop. That's how you would do a big key. Again, feel free to like if this video is helpful, subscribe if you like do-it-yourself computer repair, and thank you for watching.